What's up you guys? My name is Aubrey and this is my channel and today I want to talk to you guys about the EIDL Cash Advance. Because over the last few weeks, the $10,000 targeted Idle Cash Advance has been being distributed and I want to give you guys an update on that. In addition to the $10,000 Idle Cash Advance, there is also an increase in the Idle Loan which happened this past week. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly what you need to know and what you need to do in the case that you want an increased idle loan. So let's get started. Now, before we dig in to the idle cash advance program, I would like to take a few minutes to note the fact that the SVO grant or the shuttered venue operators grant is officially live. This went live this past week. And what this is, this is a grant for things like theaters, concert venues, museums, basically venues that have been affected by the pandemic and by the stay at home orders. This is a grant that you do not have to pay back. So if you are somebody that is involved or you own one of these types of venues, I would highly encourage you to look into the Shuttered Venue Operators Grant. The information can be found on the SBA's website. I will also include a link to that down in the description below. You could potentially qualify for the Shuttered Venues Grant if you are a talent representative, if you own a movie theater, if you own a concert hall, if you own a music venue, as well as some museums, zoos, and aquariums. And how this would work is you could potentially receive up to 45% of your 2019 revenue or $10 million in the form of this SVO grant. You can use a shuttered venue grant for a variety of different uses, including payroll, rent, utilities, and more. So it really is a very overarching and wide reaching grant that is available to these types of venues and to these types of businesses. So again, if you have a business that could qualify for this, I would highly, highly encourage you to look into it. If you guys are interested in me doing a standalone video on the Shuttered Venue Grant, let me know and I definitely can. I'm not doing a standalone video on it as of now because I don't think my audience really has venues like the ones that are required for this type of grant. But if there is enough demand for me to do a kind of deep dive explanation of this, I certainly can do that. So make sure to leave a comment below if you would like that video. Next, let's talk about the $10,000 idle cash advance. So as you guys know, there is a $10,000 idle cash advance that was outlined in a recent stimulus package, not this recent $1.9 trillion one, but the $600 million one from around the holidays at the end of 2020. Now, the thing about this $10,000 cash advance was that it would give you a total of $10,000 through the idle grant program. So it would be like your first payment that was received in 2020, and then you could receive the difference of that up to $10,000. Now, the thing about the targeted idle cash advance is the fact that it is invite only and the applications are not open to the general public. Basically how this works is that if you are somebody who is eligible for the $10,000 cash advance through the idle program, then the SBA they will email you and they will give you a chance to apply then. I have spoken to dozens of audience members of this channel who have said that they have received their funds through the Idle Cash Advance program. And from what I've heard online, the period of time in which you will receive first contact from the SBA to the moment that you are paid out can range anywhere from one week to a few weeks. So it seems as though the process is fairly quick and streamlined. Now there has been a lot of rumors over the last few weeks about whether or not the Idle Cash Advance will open up to the general public. And there has also been rumors that the Idle Cash Advance could open to more more people as far as eligibility requirements go. As of now, it is invite only and it is extremely targeted, but these rumors suggest that this could potentially change. Now, I'm not exactly sure how likely this is to become a reality. I do not know if these rules will change and if you will have a chance to apply for the $10,000 targeted idle cash advance. But what I do know is that if this does open up and if the idle program opens back up to the general public or at least a portion of the general public, there will be a huge, huge demand for the funds. So I will be keeping a very close eye on this to see what comes out and what new information is released over the next few months and over the next few weeks. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you stay up to date because if the idle program opens up, you will want to apply quickly to that. Next, let's talk about the idle loan. And that's really what I want to focus on in this video. So this past week, the idle loan program increased the maximum loan
loan that you could qualify for. This is big news because over the summer, people that applied for the EIDL loan may have been approved, but may not have been approved for the amount that they were really eligible for under the CARES Act. Because of the fact that after the EIDL program was released and after funds started being distributed, the SBA changed the rules and they changed the way that they are distributing funds. They went from a $2 million maximum loan amount to a $150,000 maximum loan amount, which means theoretically in 2020, even if you had 100 employees and you're generating tens of millions of dollars per year, the maximum amount that you could qualify for through the EIDL program was only $150,000. So there are a lot of people who did not receive the money that they really should have because of this loan change. Well, over the last few days, the SBA has been sending emails out to people, letting them know about this change. In addition to this email, the SBA is opening up their offices for people to inquire about receiving more funds through the EIDL program. This email screenshot is from my friends over at Skip. If you guys are interested in checking out Skip, they offer a ton of different resources regarding stimulus checks, government resources, getting a passport, and so much more. They are awesome, and I highly recommend checking them out. I have a link to skip down in the description below that you should check out, but this screenshot is from them. Basically what this screenshot says is it is an email from the SBA and it is to a recipient of an EIDL loan. And this is a recipient that could potentially qualify for the full 500,000 or at least a loan increase from the initial maximum of 150,000. So basically what you need to do, if you are somebody who received an EIDL loan, but you did not receive as much as you were potentially eligible for because of this loan increase, you need to send an email to the SBA. You need to send the email to the email address COVID EIDL increased requests at sba.gov. You then need to put in the subject line EIDL increase request and then make sure to include your loan number. If you don't know what your loan number is, you should be able to find it in your SBA portal and you most definitely were emailed it at some point in time. In the main section of the email, you'll want to make sure that you state what you are requesting for. So you are requesting for an EIDL increase. You'll also want to include some important business information, including your name, your business name, the business ownership, the address, phone number, and email of that business, as well as the loan number and the application of your original idle loan. Once again, my friends over at Skip have a really great breakdown of this. In fact, on their website, they have a template that you can use to send over to the SBA. So if you are interested in checking that out, again, I will include a link down in the description below. This article is super, super helpful in getting that EIDL loan in increase request in. So that is really all you should have to do in order to submit that request to the SBA for an idle loan increase. Do not include any financial information or tax returns in that request. If you are eligible for an increase, the SBA will then ask and request that information. So you'll want to provide that at that time, not at the initial point of contact. But with that being said, you guys, I wanted to make this video because I think it is so incredibly important to use the resources that the government is currently giving us. Things like the idle loan program, the PPP, the idle cash advance, they will not last forever, but the benefits can help long after COVID and the pandemic is a thing of the past. So it's important to take advantage of these resources while they have them available to us. So if you're somebody who has thought about getting the idle loan and you haven't pulled the trigger yet, I would at least look into it. I'm not gonna encourage anybody to take out a loan, but at least run the numbers and see if it makes sense for you. Alternatively, if you are somebody who's wanting to request more money, then you can certainly follow the steps that I've talked about in this video video and you can do just that. But with that being said, you guys, if you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.